welcome back welcome back you are in the final half hour of talk the thing with kim all right if it is that you're just joining us we are still in the discussion where we're talking about dating expectations right we're finding out what people are looking for out here we're finding out what red flags people out here are experiencing and we know what if a red flag they're about mm -hmm. we know the red them well bright too right yeah. so if it is that you have missed that don't worry about it every single talk the thing with kim show is recorded and it is put on our youtube channel which is fantastic fridays just all you have to do go on youtube type in fantastic fridays and every single talk the thing with kim episode is there i know we talk about relationship topics all the time come realize that that's not like era that everybody wants answers to which shows that we really have an issue in the dating experience and the dating world basically what so, kim is saying we need help we need help and that is really <laughs> <laughs> and that's really why we have this discussion <laughs> segment every single week yeah. so let's get right back to it dating expectations right so we just don't talk about a bag of red flag one main one is poor communication people fix up the communication so mm, because it is not it's not a new problem it's an ongoing problem the separation will continue right <laughs> so and it's something that you have to make an effort at because as we know new relationships are basically effortless you know so that that's that the problem Kim. yes the so you set a standard you set a standard because yeah. you knew you know everything exciting everything mm -hmm. whatever but when things start get i get i don't want to say Old, but when things when went things long get longevity get and comfortable, comfortable yeah. Yeah. people familiar. start just you know do what them feel like and that's what them say sometimes you know you can't move too quick because people eventually yeah you, want you realize to, what they really rush, are usually it's uh, sometimes it happens in abel there's no one set way but sometimes when it starts fast yeah it feels quick it feel quick yeah, because why, you know experience the part there free to get married yeah exactly in a nice yeah. relationship yeah. Okay. and as soon as you get married all right, the time. commitment change of things <laughs> yeah but sometimes it happens it works for some people but most times usually they say if it starts fast it ends quick but sometimes if you build it up you get to know the person more mm -hmm. so that way you guys know that's why dating your friends sometimes actually good all right you've got to break that down to me how do you date a friend your partner is supposed to be a yeah. friend so you automatically so basically you have these friends and you choose from one of your no, friends that's you date. no that's totally different for that's those different. who are listening no, that is I not what i meant <laughs> no, so when, please. when you said it i was like wow you hear what, no, but that's how it sounded no. to me because it's good because normally you if you check it out you know that's why females we were not comfortable with the female best, best friend right why because oh, you have built afraid. that relation it's not afraid it's As called no reality no it's no 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 no, no. Okay. it's called reality you've built that relationship right. with the person mm -hmm. so it's easier for you to actually have that connection so you go to her if there's anything if is there any problem anything wrong with you mm -hmm. you're more likely mm -hmm. to go to her than to come to your so partner. she will know the ins so and outs she will know the ins and outs of your and the ins and outs are you too the so problems. she have she have the past papers right <laughs> she can call it out on other problems thing up right of your doorstep yeah no but and i think i right think here. it's more safe that safer that way being as um, if you have a partner if you have a partner and then for example you mm. go separate ways yeah. yeah that partner they know them hate you forever mm. while well, a friend a friend mm. not really business because you can always find a you know other friends a who, common ground yeah yeah you understand well, what i want to clarify is what dj said you said it's sometimes better to date a friend mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And are you talking about a friend before the relationship or you develop a friendship after Both. the relationship? No, no. It, it sounds like she because said well, it has to be before. It can be a case where you meet the person and there's some form of interest, but you build on the friendship first before you even consider, okay, let's go let's into date. that relationship mm -hmm. part. Because a lot of us use that dating time period to get to know someone. Dating time period is pretty short and that's not enough for you to get to know someone to say, okay, I really know this person to say I'm going to commit to them. Because mm -hmm. what? Dating for three months really don't mean say you know the no person. person no but the thing is if i like you for example i like you right mm -hmm. and then <laughs> uh, no i'm just saying no we'll get it, and we'll then we you, you have me in a, a friend zone you know mm -hmm. you, you know that i like you yeah there's you, a thin you, line between friends so, so you're gonna think like say all right she don't want me then mm -hmm. right so no, me but look, is, so me no. look so me and this is where communication else. comes right. in from the get-go because you have these conversations conversations like these have to start before you get into the relationship mm -hmm. during the relationship conversations are constant so you're talking about okay if we're getting into the relationship what are the clauses for example like what well, you actually expect from this relationship right, miss, miss pob what on the first <laughs> 
I know. I like how she's breaking it down. I thing. love it. I but love it. It's a tricky thing as I, I, I wanted your, your question to come in here. Well, now. I actually had as part two right. to the question, but. That's what I was, I was looking for because it's very intricate, but I want to know how, you know, you would communicate to say, we're going to be friends first <laughs> but we will be dating soon or you know let's see where this goes as a friend first yeah. before we start you, dating you it, have to say it because so if you don't say it if you don't say it and you're it's like what he said you're mm -hmm. leading him on and you know that he likes you mm -hmm. if you don't communicate that to the person then what are you there what is what is the purpose what is it yeah. there what is and the, somebody's gonna be so, so, what is, so is so, there like a time frame before the first date or or are we saying that we're going to spread the date out It depends on it you depends and the person. Right. Everything is conditional. I would say friends. It's not, friends. It's not, it's not. No, that's what I'm saying. The building, I mean, just set up Yeah, because you don't have to be like, okay, we're, we're going to be really friends for <laughs> <laughs> three months. Okay. Three months. So, so what you're saying is that you basically... You're not rushing into the relationship. So, but you are. so that is how you build. I That's how you build. No, because because not I like you it. can be greatly attracted to someone. Uh -huh. um, emotionally, physically, <laughs> everything, right? <laughs> but then at the end of the day, you're not compatible. Mm -hmm. How you know you're not compatible should not be limited just to the dating to space. Day right? right? And the dating space might not be enough for you to know that you're not compatible. Even if you are friends, at that even I'm not saying that it's perfect because yeah. it can be even a relationship with right. your friend and everything that things go wrong. Mm -hmm. But at the same time it reduces the possibility you give yourself a better chance then yeah well, yes well what i wanted to ask which is why i had picked out that question earlier because i've heard and this is not a new person type of friendship right i've heard people say boy dating a long-term friend sometimes don't work out the best right mm -hmm. mainly because sometimes you know too much mm -hmm. already mm -hmm. let's say for example you have a friend you have a Bridging or you have a sister, you know, say boy, she money, money, and you know, you're jelly, jelly. <laughs> and you know, no, no we're no, tired of things, true. them, no, we're tired you of, know, and you are the friend, yeah, and I'm gonna tell you, Joe, you know, say a poor girl, may I talk to, yeah, and yeah. so and so and so, so you yeah, know, the yeah. ins and the yeah, outs, about the yeah. and then one day, name day, them come to you and say, you know, sir. Thing, so we have a bun in our clothes. I could try something now. Your instincts <laughs> are like, hold well, on. No, nope. me know mm. three months ago, I talked to Wendy, Annie, the, and yeah. Sarah. I but all of them. And, and, and so I that sometimes don't necessarily know. translate because people yeah. always say, oh, if you know each other, yeah, it's a good well, transition. Well, well, my response you know too that, much. You know, well, my <laughs> response is that, you know, really, if you know the person, you should be able to see that they're changing to something you like. But usually, as I say, when those long, mm -hmm. long term friendship, at some point, you might have. The flaw with it is that one point you might have somebody who is feeling for this person, but the next person not feeling. So that's why I was saying that usually when you have like long-term friend, the reason why the, the boy best friend, you know, if a girl have a boy best friend, the reason why he's not really a big threat is that probably the girl don't like him like that in the mm -hmm. first place. And the same thing is for the guy as well. Probably not like the girl. So that don't mean they're going to get together. No, we're not talking that's about that. No, we're just saying if. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now, the same thing I say. So even if they, you know, it, it might not work out. Lacey said, Lacey, mommy said, when is your next counseling session, Miss in the White Blouse? Ah, you see. Let's <laughs> <I'm saying, laughs> call her Miss Business. Right? <laughs> no, wait, whoa, don't we <laughs> Miss P.O.B. Miss P.O.B. Miss P.O.B. Yeah. Right, yeah. but yeah, so going on what you're saying. There is a difference, as you, there is a difference between compatibility yeah. and love. Right. So compatibility is like you have a mutual friend. Get along. You get along. We're yeah. good. We're great. We're going. We're going great. Mm -hmm. Love is totally different. What is love? Why love is different? Because you what might love your love? friend. <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> right. But <laughs> love is when you're with with your this significant other, mm -hmm. your partner. There's a there's a a, a, a deeper feeling, a, a, a deeper, passion. The, yeah. Right. That's and that now for come just after compatibility this so like for example with Doesn't me happen. i had a lot of female friends and so on but mm -hmm. what i try to do i don't i don't call them i don't treat them as friends i treat them as a brother or a sister mm -hmm. Careful, that, way, that way that mm. way we have Boundaries. a bond so it's like if i should mm -hmm. love them intimately i can't i just mm -hmm. I don't, I don't see feel, them in that light i don't yeah. feel that way towards none of my female friends make sure mm -hmm. none of them because, look good enough I'm gonna tell because, you I'm them. <laughs> no i'm telling you because <laughs> it's it, it just i just feel like them are my sister i'm treat them as my yeah sister. i get that vibe. Yeah, yeah, I, I have a few you know they female understand? friends you know like probably kim kim and my, my g I mean, yeah I'll be so, like, but and it has to do with mindset too because you can't really <laughs> you you for example i have a lot of male friends mm -hmm. um tomboy a lot of my time spent with build i built a lot of male friendships right mm -hmm. um 
the reality is I have to condition my mind from the get go to mm-hmm. create barriers. Um, these male friends, my male friends, them look good, you know, I don't know about nobody else, you know, well, but my male friends look really <laughs> good. But that don't mean that because them look good, I'm going to have this great feeling or anything mm-hmm. for them. And at the same time, some of your male friends or some of your female friends, even they don't say it, they can feel that they have other intentions. Mm-hmm. And you may just have to have that conversation and let them know, say, okay, we've been friends for a while, but if you decide to step or friendship ends here, and for some friendships, you have to create barriers and make it quite clear and let right. them know, say, okay, some things work, some things don't work. But because some people friendship in a relationship and a friendship is a ship right <laughs> a ship, a ship <laughs> sailing it's somewhere where you don't want it to sail so, yeah. right. certain relationships the, your partner and you must know your partner so if your partner is not comfortable with it don't close up and force them to be comfortable with something that mm-hmm. they're not comfortable with yeah. so you have to come to them and say well this is this is what happened that we are just friends they put it out there flat on the table don't hide anything that's yeah. all comes with the trust and honor that don't hide anything let them know that hey they're just my friend or there's nothing else going on this is just it and if you must come to a level of compromise where they can say all right okay. you know i'm okay with you be, him being your friend but don't go anywhere don't do and don't, don't do this, don't and, do the but this. i want to ask and a it question must, though it must Mm. Um, what's the purpose of like searching the phones? Oh, hold on, we have moved from dating expectations. Right. Remember, no, we're not in a relationship yet, sir. <laughs> no, we're, 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 we're not in a relationship. No, but, no, no, but we don't we're not dating relationship. expectations. We're, talking about dating. we're talking about dating, oh, yeah. right? This is not. So that's this is, a whole. This is not that needs to be a yeah. topic. Yeah, yeah. all right, because, because we're finding the topics tonight. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we're finding the topic. Not just them. We find a barrage of topics because we have all these ideas coming together. But here we go, Kim. This is where we separate it now. All right. So at what point, because we're talking about dating expectations, right? right? Mm-hmm. I know persons date for different reasons. Kim, I don't know. You have some more questions? Come no, on. So, right. yes, man. so here we go. One of the, one of the, um, because I'm going to play two audio clips soon with, with two ladies' opinions similar on this topic. Dating. Are we dating one person? Are we dating multiple persons? Yeah. How does dating That's work? That's a good one. Right. So it depends on what is your definition That's what I'm going to ask dating. you. Mm-hmm. So for some people, you may want to know about me not talk. <laughs> Boy, certain people are listening. She not says it, sir. You have to talk about yourself. Well, you have to talk about No, anyway, I, I just want to get your opinions here. But date mm-hmm. for some people, dating. You say it's not a relationship. It's yet, we don't reach a relationship yet. Yeah. You are allowed to interact with other people to mm-hmm. see. You're going to test the waters to see what's it like. How you gonna know what you like? Mm-hmm. How you gonna know what you not like? First, you are you already have your precondition to what you are. You know what you're exposed to, whatever you like. There. Mm-hmm. However, you're talking to this person, and you're like, well, I like that he replies on time. I like that he is present. I like that he pays attention mm-hmm. to details. And you say, well, okay, somebody else message you. You're not with this person. Mm-hmm. There's no, you have not said that. I'm not okay. speaking to anybody. We're exclusive right now. Yeah. We're dating. Mm-hmm. You go on to somebody else you talk to. You're not sleeping with them. Right. You're well. not. Oh! oh. <laughs> Continue, please. <laughs> Miss B. Wow! <laughs> <Miss B. laughs> no. <laughs> hey. Yes, Jada. Mm. Wait, hold well, on. Yeah. Lacey, right. mommy said the moon, you might see them as sister, but them good, them good as a mother over you. Um, under the quiet. Sips tea. Sips tea. But yeah. Mm-hmm. So what you're saying basically is sip. dating, there isn't a commitment. We yeah, never say, options. yo, are you, you and I'm me. Mm-hmm. So at this point, I'm getting to know people. I'm, I'm getting, getting to know, to know you just like I'm getting to know no, other, other people. people. So, so you're it, saying that's how dating should be. So it's basically who's in the lead in a sense, or who meet the requirements? Who, comes who up meet to, the requirements to who what puts you? in the be- right. best application? It's like yeah. a job. It's, it's like a job. It's like a job. You have an application. You're right. And an interview. You interview them, and then you and after we interview, we say you know what, like you're the best fit. Let's hear DJ on this one. No, what? Well, I was just going to say something on that. What I find interesting is that mm-hmm. persons have an issue with the, that perspective of dating, like that angle, mm-hmm. but they're okay with speed dating. Speed dating, it's the same thing. You're just doing it like in a minute. Like I think they feel like a minute people. not really count. Yeah, oh, I okay. <laughs> think so, so the speed dating, after a minute, I forget half a way you just no, said. No, but I, mean, so. I, I would call, you see me, I would call speed dating.
in speed dating. Uh -huh. I call that like a speed introduction. Yeah, it's or, exactly. Or like a networking meeting. Because right. chances yeah, are, I'm not really into you, I'm not even halfway. Just right, it's just basically who you vibe with best. But if I'm dating four people, I'm going to know about it. Yeah, you're going to be talking to them daily. But you have to make sure that you're saying this from the get-go. That is the issue. You have to communicate. I think that's the main issue with this. If you don't say it, and the person feels like, well, she's all up into me, and me alone, and then you show your bros. I'm saying, let see a picture of a girl, now you show them, but it's so weird. she attack to John. Yeah, that's how they think. No, that's not cute. Ah, look, look, look yeah, here, DJ, DJ, DJ was saying something now. Remember, we're asking. Right, DJ, are we? Oh. Yeah. Dating more. Is, you, you date dating one, you date multiple. multiple or is dating one. an open thing until you're settled down? I think dating should be go? open mm -hmm. because as Jamaicans, we have the talking stage. I yeah. think that's when you so narrow it down. So dating is the down. talking stage? No, no, no. You have dating mm -hmm. where you get to go, you go out, mm -hmm. you get to know the person and whatever the case may be. But then the talking stage now is when like, yeah, man, are you out on the 10? Oh my God, you, 10? <laughs> you should you see one thing that I've learned when it Just comes to any form of relationships yeah. is that you have to be very open-minded for a person's choice and mm -hmm. what people want to do and you respect their choices. So you do have persons who probably go through 20 people mm -hmm. and decide after the 20, I'm going to go down to this one person. But mm -hmm. people so are usually like narrow down from 20 to 1, so you know. Some people <laughs> no, man, like, no, little by little, you just see it through till you find out. Like yeah, like right. 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 mm -hmm. so yeah, some people just want to run the tree simultaneously. And Maybe. if that's a personal choice, no, but it really depends on how people how people view relationships. Okay. So for us, we prefer to have the one partner. Mm -hmm. Some people, as the Jamaican man, them, if you have three girls, it's a big thing, and that is just how it it's is. It's a big deal! Relax. Literally, but three, I think, three people. Relax. We can't buy a big yeah. deal right now with KFC. Relax. Yeah. Come I on, think... they're take our five dollars. We can't get it. But what I... <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there, yeah. right? But I think what happened with that, you know, mm. even the whole thing of, I'm an astray from dating too much, but mm. just that specific point mm. where you said, boy, if a woman have three men, it's a problem. If a man have three girls, it's just basically a tradition and upbringing. Mm -hmm. It's just yeah. like when you have a daughter and a, versus a son. Mm -hmm. If the son are 13, and I've heard men say this, um, the son have some sexual experience. Yo, you have big money. Yeah. 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 Pop your collar. But make him 13 year old daughter That's said that. Me say, oh, me, I all at 21. All, all at right. 30. You know, no problem. You have, you have and it's how you're grown because girls are naturally grown more sheltered more you yeah, know yeah, um, and then men is like young boys are pushed into certain thing you man are them thing if yeah. like you know re, re, re. you ever hear some 13 and 14 year old boy i thought no are you not serious some big man right, but here no, what them parents say what them father say that, you see that no that is a rough perpetuation of madness because <laughs> no, usually it's reality no, it's usually okay today usually, uh, uh, car today so i don't think anything is wrong with dating multiple persons because here the thing when it comes to that now mm -hmm. when you when you reach that level now kim you know like that the proper upbringing wasn't done for the, the young man mm -hmm. or most likely he's probably more influenced by his peers because mm -hmm. the sensible father if you think about it and you see your 13 year old son are 14 15 even up to 16 mm -hmm. your 16 year old son i gotta get sexually involved with somebody you have a pause first, you know. And I wonder what is the age of the next person? No, mm. but that's what you I'm saying. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Before no. you even celebrate, and you have to no. think about protection that's, and. You no, understand? that's what the average person no, that's would that's, say no, that's should that's, happen, but it's more prevalent than you think. Kim, that's what I show you say it's perpetuation of madness because mm -hmm. any sensible person knows that if a guy, I got to do six, unless if I tell you, say, anyway, you take it there, it's still wrong, I can listen. Mm -hmm. Oh, the girl is older. So what should I do with a 16 year old? See, them not pre that, oh, them big the him up. Younger. So wait, you <laughs> deal with somebody with underage. Them yeah. big him so up the same no, way. There's no safe way. So you know, say you have to still a predator prey put them up there. Mm -hmm. When you reach 18, now you can't say do your thing. We understand that no. the age of consent is 16, but when you really think about it, 16, there's no safe way. Yeah, no, no, you can't make certain decisions the on the age there. Yeah. Mm. But, but anyway, that's I know this is yeah, yeah but that, just that's a jump in quickly on yeah. that subtopic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we have to do more as parents right. that is what I'm getting to, right. to, to educate our younger people about sex because a lot of what we learn is from our peers. Yes, or, so or, 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 or the internet are we're misinformed. Right. So this is what we know as a narrative. Because even for example, I'm not sure if many persons watch like sex education, the series on Netflix, mm -hmm. you realize that these the age group is what 16 to and, 17 and they're pushing that more and to you the, they're teams. actually educated about these things versus us yeah. and the reality is it can it it's not about if it will happen it's it a will happen. Gonna happen it's, a it's, gonna just, happen. it's been what you're putting in place <laughs> to ensure that they're okay right. well i saw that too cute said on the live 
it is not right to be dating multiple persons at the same time. Too cute. That only spells confusion. All right. This, you know, no. here, here's where, here, here's where, because this is one of the, I, I wanted um, last week to clear up, but we never get the time. And we, we basically yeah, we're running out of time. Mm-hmm. Oh. You see this word dating? It's open to interpretation. 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 That is it. So Somebody, like what Jada said, it depends on what, what dating yeah. is to so you. You yeah. have to talk to the people them. I know what I'm okay and with. And get to the titles together. When you say we are dating, or let's say we're going out on a date, mm-hmm. you let the guy know, or you let the girl know, say, listen to me, contestant number one, <laughs> or contestant number, number three, three. No. Right. we are not together mm-hmm. we won't be you know taking this beyond a certain stage no, but you know what i think because so far mm-hmm. we've gotten that if you're gonna date like that communication is key so far communication has been the answer to many things we've lock discussed key, so far lock hint, hint, hint. everything hint hint you communication is the answer to many things right <laughs> no but, but here's i the think problem. why some persons stray away from that mm-hmm. is because not many persons are i don't want to say open-minded because too cute me no one think it you think I'm saying you're not open minded but because they're probably not open to it you're afraid mm-hmm. say if you go to them say you know say I'm actually seeing other people that with is how it. Jamaican people are that you know, is it and where's that's, Hitman for that's right, right, right. Right. Yeah. and right. because they that fear that right across and because the board. they fear wow. that they don't say it so they do it under the quiet because I'm not what you're doing I'm a one of the inches so probably like you a little bit you know editing kid but we don't want you run with us like dog because for example this is one question that usually pops up when persons when persons exactly when persons start to date this question pops up and right now because we are so traumatized by our by all the experiences we will still ask the question but there is no answer that we get back Mm -hmm. that we are safe with you ready for the question what a question i mean alone you talked (laughs) <laughs> hey. Me alone, yeah, I talk to. Yeah. That even if we get answer, you know, yeah, man, are you alone? <laughs> yeah, you're still uncomfortable. No, first of all, first of all, once the high pitch goes so, <laughs> well, well, you know, go so, you know, go so. You don't know too far. And if them actually say no, you don't believe it. Same way. Same way. say, but wait. What you mean? You gotta ask how much. You gotta ask who and who. But when? at the end of the day, if we are really being truthful, yeah. it would help us so much. But because we're concerned about what other people are gonna react, see us, are they gonna or run or out to think me, me have a bag of might have me at number one now, but if me tell her I say me I'll see another person and you know, well, my child figure out which one for, she might put me down at number seven. You get me? I say, but so we, no, we feel don't it might make it us. read so far. That's the thing. You the, guys yeah. are waiting until everything looks seasoned up. You no, from, it, 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 you that's true because that's the thing. You know, that's mm. the disadvantage with multiple partners. Dating, 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 John, you date Tom, mm-hmm. and then you're showing them the same um, energy. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. someone gonna feel like, say, all right, I style, I style me yeah. at the end of the day. But it's not even only that, you know. I think one of the things is the people's intention when dating so fine you say you date multiple people <laughs> but guess what you know so i just did you just want to floss you just want to go yeah. out you just want to want take you out for dinner you just want, that, that's a, another part of she the issue the why people section. are afraid you know <laughs> me, me link, like me see the, the no, last part that's are one of the things session. i was getting to because for the guys that's one <laughs> of see, our and fear the women are guilty when a girl that, tell us food. that we're dating yeah multiple. she just want to dress up no no you know what that means we have to go wait till a random Thursday if you catch her a random Friday. Yeah. Yeah. And then she just did and free and won't go to eat. You know, by the time we don't eat my lobster shrimp deal. She's going to party with the someone. She's going to say, oh, she say uh, well, you know, you might not hear from me tonight because I'm going out with with, somebody, exactly. you know, with the other friend. But so the intent else? makes it a problem too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a problem. for the girls. So they must say, okay, this is my other girl. girl. I call it belt, you know. It leads back to what you're comfortable with. And communication. And communication. And the energy. So if you from the get go, I say, well, listen, I am, I'm not, I'm looking for, I'm, I'm dating. Mm-hmm. Because I say, I'm looking for somebody. I'm talking to people who, you know, I'm here. Mm-hmm. I'm interested in this. If I'm interested in this, I'll stay here. And you're, mm-hmm. you said to me, say, I mean, we're doing the same thing. So if I like you and I like your vibe and I want to get to know you, let me take you out and you, you go out with me and you say you like. Oh. You say, yes. I will go yeah. instead. Oh, you take it from there. I will take it from there. Right. But you talk, and from you talk, and I talk, I will we'll get in here. somewhere. I will go here. here. And then that's not the thing. That's the thing too. No, you don't you hear. Somewhere. You must listen. Yeah. Not yeah. Not ear for ear instead. And it passed three ears and gone with Bar- you. Have to have, you have to reach, have. You have to have your intent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. From the reach a point where you go out and you sit down and I start eating, yeah, spend a little money for the bee, mm-hmm. and yeah, spend a little money for the. <laughs> 
yeah. something is going on. No, yeah. no, boss. No, not girl them, not, not, but, not but, going for the girl them yet. But all I, my, that's, 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 that's the person that's from the guys. We believe yeah. that once we are, the, you know, making these wonderful gestures, because we think dating is a gesture, you know. Yeah. Most yeah. ladies just think, say, hey, guys, I'm giving you an opportunity no, that's an to see me. So when men mm-hmm. feel like there's something old. No, it's so, not yeah. about being old doing a kid. No, I'm saying men think it's a gesture. We think it's a gesture. We're showing the lady that, hey, I like you. And we're thinking that them showing up means that they like us. They're interested. But that's why. But that's why. To communicate. Yeah, yeah communicate guys. from the get go what your intent is just to exactly. make sure that, okay, I'm so looking for something long term, I'm looking for something short term, mm-hmm. I'm here for the vibe, the energy. So here we go. Yeah, so, so guys. Uh huh. Tell us if you're not just out for fun or not actually dating. Did it, yeah, you like me. At, at the end of the day, dating, I would communicate. Hope move to relationship, right? So what at the end of the day, guys, you have to communicate what an intent is, mm-hmm. communicate what your standards are, what you're doing, because this helps to avoid hurting people and misinterpretation and all that. But guys, that is it for Talk the Thing with Kim this week. We're closing out in the last minute. Want to wish y'all a very safe weekend. Can we know what's a storm about? So make sure, you know, Lock stock up, up bar down the place, up. stock up yeah. whatever. Don't be safe, it, food. but be safe. <laughs> yeah. And we'll see y'all again next week. Feel free to send us topic suggestions. Have a good weekend. That's Kimmy Woo. Kim Kim and Mr. Fresh Concepts. Want to say thanks to our guests in the studio. We got Jada, we got The Moon, we got Deidre, Miss POB. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the video on our YouTube page at Fantastic Fridays. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> you have a name, but it's we're too long for it on the radio right now. <laughs> All right, guys, so look for us and follow us on Instagram at Fantastic, Fantastic 93 FM. FM. Have a safe weekend, people. <laughs> We're out. News Talk 93 FM. Heard everywhere.